let's talk about prime numbers there is a very simple problem uh, it's x square minus y square equal to 31 this is the given equation and there, it's also given that x and y are positive integers can you find out the value of x and y that works uh, you can pause the video here and give it a try on your own it's not very hard um, the main trick is to identify that 31 is a prime number and the only way to factorize a prime number is itself times 1. That's the only way. Now if you take x square minus y square, you can factorize that as x plus y times x minus y. It's given that x and y are both positive integers, so we can use that. Uh, x plus y must be the larger one so we, we will set x plus y equals 31 and x minus y must be the smaller one so x minus y equals 1. Now you can solve both of these equations simultaneously. Uh, if you add those equations you'll get 2x equals 32 so x is 16. This gives us y is 15. This is the final answer. It uses a very simple idea from um, the notion of prime numbers and divisibility. But it also has a beautiful pictorial connotation. So if you draw the picture of this particular equation, you see x plus y times x minus y equals 31. Can you draw the picture of this equation, the graph of this equation. Well, the graph will be something like this. You can take a curve like this. You can take another curve like this. So this is a hyperbola. If you do not know why this will be a hyperbola, you can give it a try uh, by plotting several points on this graph. If you know calculus, you can do a better esti uh, estimation of this graph. Now let's look at the first quadrant, the first quadrant of this picture. You see, this particular first quadrant passes through infinitely many points. And each of these infinitely many points each of these infinitely many points has x coordinate and y coordinate. What this problem is asking is when do both the coordinates become integers? When is when are both the coordinates x and y among these million, infinitely many points when are both the coordinates integers and our solution says in the first quadrant that happens only once so when x is 16 and y is 15 there's something to think about now by the power of mathematics we know and this is a very simple problem, mind you. We know that among these infinitely many points on this uh, first quadrant, on this red, red uh, portion of the curve, there are infinitely many points and only one of them has this beautiful property that both the coordinates are integers. They are sometimes known as lattices, lattice points, uh, but they have much higher significance in um, in advanced number theory and algebraic geometry as well. But anyway, uh, this seemingly simple looking problem, which even a middle school student can solve, has far reaching consequences when you think about it in, in, in terms of geometry. 
Um, link in the description will take you to more ideas, but uh, keep watching and keep doing great mathematics.